Okay, so I'm just going to put this together. Uh, had this plan about talking about this banjo and, uh, and showing it off and all, but turns out when I make plans, I never get done. So I'm just going to just going to show you show you what I've got here. So this is a um, my latest creation. Um, it's a fretted nylon strung banjo. The pot is an old uh, metal clad pot of some sort. Uh, I think somebody at one point told me they thought it was a Slingerland, uh, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. Either way. Uh, I built the neck for it. The neck is uh, mahogany. Not sure what kind of what kind of heel that that would be called, but that's what I made. The neck is mahogany. It's got a ebony peghead cover, and I used sort of an old style uh, peghead shape that I got from Blue Stem Strings uh, that website. The uh, fretboard is bacati or bow coat or however you say that type of wood, so a, kind of a striped rosewood. The uh, neck is bound, or the fingerboard fretboard is bound with, uh, actually it's an ebony walnut ebony laminate. There's probably no way you'd be able to see that here because it's a pretty thin, pretty thin color, uh, or thin uh, laminations there, but ebony walnut ebony. I uh, put a seventh, figure the fifth fret's pretty easy to pick out with the, the peg, so I put a seventh fret marker and, uh, with the star and then a star up at the uh, peg head, so kept it pretty simple. And then scooped it at, uh, I think that's the seventeenth fret there, so uh, just a simple, uh, simple scoop there. Um, the nut's a bit high and I tried to get all fancy with the nut and angle the angle the slots toward the uh, the <laughs> toward the tuners that ended up not working out too well so I'm probably gonna re recut the nut here at some point and make a new nut um, the bridge is some leftover Bacati I made it a little higher and uh, I, I used a drum sander to kind of angle or uh, sand a little bit of a arc into it to make it kind of a um, uh, compensated type bridge there. I ended up making my own A to make it a little bit higher and then also to uh, also to make it a little wider. So it turns out I made this fretboard probably a little too wide. I knew it was going to be wider than normal. Um, I probably made it wider than it needed to be but it's okay. Uh, but in order to go with that, I made a, I made the bridge a little wider as well, so a little wider string spacing. The strings are fishing line, so regular old nylon monofilament fishing line, and to be honest, I don't remember the gauges. I know that the fourth string being the heaviest is about 80-pound uh, test, I think, so let's see, 40, I think, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80, or maybe 40, 50... 60 and 80 pound test. I kind of looked at the diameters and uh, found diameters that seemed reasonable relative to some uh, actual nylon strings. So that's that. The uh, the dowel stick is actually sort of a faux dowel stick. It's there's a threaded rod that runs into a into a um, barrel nut in the heel, runs all the way through the dowel stick and into the uh, into the nut for the tailpiece there. So that's it in a nutshell. I've been kind of playing mostly with the nylon strings. I've been trying out a uh, little bit of two finger thumb lead. So I'm not very good at two finger thumb lead. Um, but I think it's good with, well, because I can't play fast, um, I think it's kind of good with the mellower sound of the nylon strings in my opinion. So I'll uh, give a shot at I wish I was a mole in the ground.